world class start provides an opportunity that no other sport provides. It gives athletes from other sports a chance to try out something new that they could find out they're exceptional at. So we take them from step one, first day in a boat, first thing that they do, all the way through to getting towards the senior Olympic squad. We're looking for a few things. We're not looking for rowers necessarily. We're looking for people from different sports. The main things we're after are females. We want you to be between the ages of 14 and 22 and at least five foot 10 tall. And for males, we're after anyone from the age of 14 to 20 who's six foot two or taller. After that, we're just looking for general athleticism and that's something that we can test for. I was a cross country runner or a long distance runner, so sort of 5Ks, 10Ks. And I found that um, despite being okay at it, I was never going to be really good. So I wanted to do something where I could had the potential to be quite good at. I just kind of done a variety of sports. There wasn't really one I was really into until I found rowing. And I feel like rowing's one I've actually like stuck to because I've enjoyed it more than I've enjoyed anything else. Once we've found an athlete who meets our initial criteria, we invite them in for testing where we can measure them, we take their height, their weight, their arm span, and then we put them through a couple of tests. So we have a fitness test that's done on a bike, and we also have some strength tests which is done on a really simple machine testing upper and lower body strength. Once, then once we've got all the results from an athlete, we can compare it to the previous data that we've collected, and we can make a decision then whether we think they've got the potential to become an Olympic athlete. Since I've been involved with the World Class Start Programme, we've been training uh, about six days a week, twice a day. We're doing weights, cardio, out in the water, conditioning, stretching, doing a bit of yoga as well because I'm quite inflexible. I've definitely come a long way, I mean, that's for sure. Like, considering the first time I went out on a boat, I fell in about 15 seconds. I'm a, like, a full time student as well. You just have to be able to like, balance training and just studying. Coach me gets phenomenal compared to other clubs. There's always like one-on-one -on -one opportunities available. I've got school and stuff, and I'm doing my hires, so it's like a lot to like juggle. But I'm like feel like I'm managing, and it's like as it's, it's, it's really if you enjoy it, then you make the time for it. Coming from uh, running, it wasn't so much a team. Whereas now I'm training with lots of different people, it's much more of a team atmosphere. We do believe that there are athletes out there that could become Olympic rowers um, and our data supports that. At the London 2012 Olympics, 36% of the squad came through the World Class Start programme and at the Rio 2016 Olympics, 27% of the squad came from the World Class Start programme. So it shows that this programme works and we can take people from beginner to the Olympic level. Definitely go for testing even if you don't think that you might be good enough for it teaches you a lot like I think it helped me mature a lot as well because it's a lot of like responsibility trying to juggle everything. Definitely um, go ahead apply like come along get tested see um, if you can if you're capable because um, it's a great opportunity. If you're wanting to become involved just be ready to commit be ready to be able to give 100% because that's what you need to do here. It's one of those things where the more you put into it, the more you get out of it and it's one of the places where if you put a lot into it, you're going to get a lot out of it and you're going to progress really quickly.